day. As the Steel Horseman says, when the pavement ends, the story begins. And I've got a story for you. Look at this. Well, not really a story. How about the beginning of a story? This is a new ride that we're going to be taking to Colorado. I sold the SV650 and picked up a KLR650. It's an 01 model. This one here is in pretty good shape. It's got 20,000 miles on it. Uh, it's got an oversized rotor with a steel braided brake line, which is awesome. I can't be certain, but I think he's done some engine work to it, too. The guy that I got it from was not the original owner. He didn't do a thing to it, he tells me. So it was lowered. I had these, uh, those, those dog bone things right there. I put the originals back on, and uh, you know the other ones were longer, so it sat lower. And so they shortened the kickstand. And it's, what's nice is it's got a little dirt foot on there. But um, now if I don't park it like that, it, it sits way down. <laughs> so I, I just carry a block with me and stick it in there in true KLR fashion. Also in true KLR fashion, I fashioned myself a little windshield out of an old one. I wanted to get more, uh, more height so I didn't get all that buffeting in my chin and everything. So it'll be nice and calm for you in the audio. But I am... Uh, Loving it so far. Absolutely loving it. And I know a lot of you are out there going, it's about damn time, I had a map. <laughs> and some of you are out there going, oh, really? Okay. But, we're in the gravel now. So, let's see how she does. KLR. I've put about 120 miles on her or so. And, um, Really enjoyed it so far. It's so comfortable. It fits my body perfectly. And I've just been really pleased, really pleased so far. So this area that I'm riding in is where I rode with Riding Man. And this was a crossroad that I took. And when I was with him, we, we didn't actually ride on this road. We were on the crossroad. Hey, and there's another road for exploring. Oh, no, this is the... No, maybe not. Yeah, maybe that is the crossroad right there. That's where the crossroad is. But so far, like I said, this bike is super comfortable. I actually uh, was riding the Scrambler and got on this one. And I was like, oh, wow, this is really comfy. She's really comfortable on the highway, really comfortable on the road. Handles the gravel, just like a gravel-eating machine. I'm going to put my shield down and see if that helps with the audio. That, that sounds a little better. I have not put my air tire, air pressure down, so I got a little shimmy there, but so far, loving it. But let me tell you, I've always been a KLR type person, meaning, you know those guys that, uh, when there's something wrong with their bike, they head to the hardware store rather than the bike shop. <laughs> and you know that if you've watched any of my other vlogs. I put as many plumbing and uh, hardware parts on my vehicles as my, my on my motorcycles as I do going to the bike shop. So let's see if this guy knows I'm coming. But I've always had that mentality of a KLR owner, which is if you don't have it, make it first. And if you something breaks, you modify it or try to get it to go a different way or something and there's all kinds of trails let's we'll find out where this road goes first though I am by myself my son is at a uh, concert band competition Mr. Ride on Youth Roy and he has not had a chance to ride the KLR yet and um, as much as I'm enjoying her <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna. <laughs> he might have to take Giselle, because I have taken a shining to Katara here. This is Katara. Katara the KLR. Katara the KLR. Yeah. Because she's got this massive amounts of tank. But you know what? I've really been surprised at how light this bike feels. Uh, like I said, it's an 01, it's a Gen 1 model. And 
people talk about how heavy and stuff they are, but man, I'm feeling, I'm just loving it right now. Especially out on the road and on the freeway, just everywhere. It's been awesome. It feels very light to me. I guess it's just because of, now I haven't had it on any single track or anything like I do with Cora, the KTM. Um, and again, I've only had her for a, a little bit. But, uh, woo! I don't know what it is. I mean, I mean it's just balanced really well. I, I mean, it's, it just kind of reads my mind and we go. So I'm digging it. It's awesome. Close to, this is hiking only. Close to bicycles and horses. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I love it, Katara! She's awesome!